Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and tonight we are going to be working in the journal. I'm using um, hopefully Seth some of Seth's new borders and Patty Tolly Parish her new uh, mermaid stamps, which I've been dying to use. So, um, but first I wanted to share. I did share some happy mail um, yesterday from Joan, sweet Joan, and she had made this card for me. And I didn't know it was a card. I thought it was just like a painting. <laughs> so I had showed her how to do the octopus legs. And she did such a good job with it. I really love the octopus legs she put on there. And I didn't know that she also made the shells. Oh, there you are, Joan. I didn't know that you made the shells too out of clay. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. And then I love these little seaweed type things. But I didn't know it was a card until... After, I don't know what, I don't know when I picked it up or whatever, it finally opened up like a card. So I just had to show that again because I really love it. <laughs> so, all right. So tonight, and if you didn't see too, I think you could see it's kind of embossed. But yeah, I really love that. So thank you, Joan. All right. So I went ahead. So hopefully we're going to use Patty's new stamps. I also have... Some of these, which I might try to use. Some of the, I don't know if there was their name for these, Patty. That one sheet that I got. So I wanted to maybe use some of these little ones. I might use them for like seaweed or something like that. Like this little one here. This one I like for bubbles. So maybe I can do my own bubbles. So, so I'm going to try to use some of those. Um, and then Seth has, these are his new stamps. So he has the border ones. I thought maybe I'd try to make this one into like seaweed. So we'll see how that goes. Hi, Kia. How you feeling? And I love this one too. This one is kind of looks like, I don't know, it could be like maybe seaweed too. So, so we're going to try to stamp with those tonight. So let me stick those. Oh my gosh, I have like no room. I had to bring like another table in here just to, just so that I could put stuff here. All right, let me... Stick this here. I also brought out my jelly plate. So I brought the small one out because I'm going to try to put these fish, these fish in there. Remember those art roll, art. Uh, I think they're art rollers. So, all right, so let me stick that over there. And then, all right, just try not to get the uh, <laughs> get everything all messed up here. Hold on. If you're watching over on YouTube, this is a live stream over on Ustream.tv. I don't edit anything. So, all right. And I have some of these to use. And then Eileen gave me this mermaid. This was a stamp from her friend. Um, was it Patty Kula? Kulia? <laughs> Darn it. I can't say it. I'll have to write it down. C U L E A. Kulia. <laughs> And her first name was Patty, right? I'm trying to see. I have to go back and look. Oh, I can't go back that hard. I can't go back that fast. Yes, Patty. Yeah. So these are stamps from Patty. So Eileen had stamped a couple of these for me. And so what I'm going to do is, and it has a mermaid tail. What we're going to do is use the upper part. And then I'm going to use Patty's um, mermaid for the bottom part. So that's that stamp. And then I took out. I'm just going to run through the stencils we might use. So this one is a Donna Downey one with the bubbles. These are all bubbles. This is a Prima one. And this one is Patty's. Um, Patty Tolly Parish. If you don't know her here on um, Ink. She's the Inky Obsession. And these are her bubbles. So we're probably going to use some bubbles. And this one's Dilution Bubbles. So I'm going to stick that over there. Hi, Linda. Hi, everyone. And then these are artist sellers. I just pulled out all my C ones type thing. This one is Crafter's Workshop with a seahorse, some fish. Uh, what else? These are more artist seller, more C stuff. This one is, he's a new one for me, Brett Weldel. Well, Wellly, <laughs> he's from Stampers Anonymous, but this reminds me of like octopus legs. So, hi, Travis. 
And then, of course, is um, Jane Davenport's mermaid. So I'll probably stick that. And these are trees. You can see the trees. But I always use it as coral. Kathy says she, she uses it as hair as well. But so we'll see what we could do with that. And then Julie Faye Van Bolzer's um, stencil. More crafters workshop. Turtle. Little octopus. Some more fish. Another artist seller one. And then I got this one um in maryland and it says the ocean is where i belong so we're probably definitely going to use that this is a joggles one this always reminds me of octopus hi janet <laughs> and this is one of jones that she gave me she gifted me so i like this part because it looks like waves so we'll probably use that and these are my favorite the uh, patty's mermaid tails is it mermaid tails or just mermaids these are mermaid tails so I have the big one, the 8x11, and then I also have the smaller one. I need more stencils. <laughs> ah, I have way too many, and that's why it makes it hard for me to decide what to use. All right. So I have already gessoed my Jane Davenport book. I always kind of felt kind of guilty about gessoing those nice watercolor pages, but right, so let's do this over here. And I've already put on my bottles in the glove. So if you don't know that it is, um, I've learned that from Barb. She always uses um, bottles in the glove. And it's just to, it's just a shielding. It's not really, you know, but it, it helps take the paint off better. So I did use that. Put that on already. And I have my Finnabar little sleeves on. So what I want to do is I want to go lightly. So I can't decide what color I want to use first. You love Patty's stamps and stencils? Yeah, I can't wait to use the mermaid ones. So I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to put a light coat of a, a light blue. So let's see, what do I have here? So I'm going to go with this one, baby, uh, baby blue. And this is Americana. So let me put that up first. <laughs> Thanks, Travis. <laughs> Bottles in a glove. You gotta have it. <laughs> I finally found it. Actually, it fell behind my table. That's why I couldn't find it before. I might just have to pull it. Let's see. If I have a little palette thing. You know, there's like a pencil more than a Prisma. <laughs> yeah, Dee Dee did a great job with that. I, I was watching for a little bit. Um, she actually did the comparisons. And I was surprised how nice the um, the Holbein white compared to everything else. That was pretty cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is, let's see. I think I'm going to roll this on. Should I roll it on? Maybe I'll roll it on. Nope, I think I'll brush it on. Because I don't want to put it everywhere. I just want to get it some places. So let me get a paper towel. Now, they came out, did you see, I think it was Jerry's that they had new Caran uh, Are they new or just new colors of the watercolor pencils? I just got an email today and I saw that. All right, so I just really want, I actually wanted just even a little bit lighter than this. I think I'm going to add some more, more white gesso. Let's just use Jane's right here. So it's a uh, Jane's Gesso. It's cute. She names her dog Gesso. <laughs> so I just want a little bit lighter. I'm just going to brush it on. I'm actually going to use a little bit more white. I'm looking for my other Gesso. You watched how many episodes? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I missed it, Sarah. Goodness. There we go. And this paint dries so fast, so I want to see if I can use one of these fish ones. 
take some of this off. I should have had my baby wipes out already. So I just want to take a few of these off. Oh, can you see? I can move this over a little bit. And then I'm going to press that on there. It doesn't really show up too well. I should, probably should take some more off. I really want this first coat to be like really light, like that. So then you go in with a little bit darker or something else. Eh. Eh. Not like, not loving it. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to rub this around. And then I'll put some more darker on here after. Kind of make it like rolly like waves. layer I want kind of like an oceany type feel so I think I'm gonna put some of these down Jones you're gonna mess with some of the links trouble what happened no I'm Mildred <laughs> all right I gotta find my um, matte medium which I don't I don't see here let me just get some of Jones The problem is, too, I have, like, the heat on, and it's, like, right over my head, so it's drying really quick. Hi, hey, Terry. All right, so I think I'm going to put one here. Stick one there. Maybe I'll stick one down here. So I need a brush. I'm just going to stick this down. I like this one because it has like bubbles in it already. Oops. There we go. And then I'm going to stick this one down in here. Make sure it's really in the crack there. I want to make sure it's really in there. So, you're on your iPad. That's good, Dorothy. Just make sure it sticks in there. There we go. I'm going to cut that. I'll call on using like watercolors. I 
There we go. Terry should stream. She should, right? She does a lot of nice work. All right, made a little bit more. I think you can use the alcohol markers. I think before Jane used to do that before. She took dilutions in her water um, pens. I think she did alcohol inks as well. I can't get that to stick to it well. There we go. You think it would melt the plastic? All right. We have that. We'll let that dry a little bit and just cut it. I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to use these little ones to, to go on here like this. I should probably put some other paper between these. There we go. I'm going to do the same with this bottom one. It's hard for you guys to see probably because it's so light. I think I'm gonna have to cut one of these to put it on here. I think I'm gonna do that. We have that. So I think I'm going to put, um, I don't really like these fish, so I think I'm going to try to do the jelly plate. So we'll let this dry. I'm going to bring out my jelly plate. So I only have the small one, the five by seven. Oh, 
know what happened. Actually going to use this paint I have on here. So I'm going to take this. Roll this on. And then I'm going to want, take this roller. I'm going to get one with the fishes like in the middle. And then I need to roll this off on something. Paper. Oh. What I'm going to do is use this like a stamping um, block. And so, where this dries too well. Okay, Dorothy. So, I like that better for fish. So, I think we'll do the same thing. Oh, I might have to turn my heat off because it's like really drying my page quickly. And the problem is I have no ah no room. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe this one off. And then we'll add more paint and do the same thing. So you guys are going to, I probably will stream for Super Bowl. It's supposed to go on like all night, isn't it? I just might come on a little earlier. Like I might come on from like 6 to 6 to 8 or something like that. But I will let you guys know. All right. So, uh, paint. I'm going to do the same thing again. And just get some on the other side there. I'm actually just wiping it off on here. And then maybe I'll just roll this off here. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> And then I'm going to actually go straight down this way. Hi, Linda. <laughs> what did Travis <Jarvis> say? <laughs> that looks, I like that a lot. All right, I'm going to just do this little fish here. All right, so I think I'll have my mermaid coming like this. Well, I'll put some seaweed in here. So I think maybe we'll do one more. I'll do one more across here, because I'm not really liking that. Oh, I gotta cut that before. Let me cut that. Right, 
one more time. Just on the other side there. And then, I'm going to get the I probably should clean my plate. It's not going to come out as clear, but we'll see. See what happens. I have to get my brush. I don't know. I should put a cover on this so I don't get the front like Ah, didn't really do anything at all. <laughs> all right, let's do that one more time. Hi, Lynn. Hi, CB. Hi, Kathy. Welcome, everyone. Oops, I got to wipe this clean. If I didn't say hello before, welcome. I only really need to clean the middle. Okay. You love the front. Thank you. <laughs> I know I should put a cover so it doesn't get ruined. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, this one's not coming out as, as crisp as the other one. Well, let's see if this one works. Let this one to go up. I might have to use darker paint if this doesn't work. No, I think I need darker paint, but we'll, we'll skip that for now. All right, so let me put that there. So now I want to come in and do like a wave. So I think I'm going to use this one, this one of Jones. And I think I'm going to try, I'm going to try this one. This is Jane's um, blue. I don't know if she calls, has a name for these. This is her lighter blue out of her out of her bag thing. Alright, so we're done with the thing to the way. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I have to move this tray. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna stick a little bit of this. I need a sponge. <laughs> Winter my <might>, no. <laughs> These are Finn's um <laughs> Finn's sleeves. Right, let's, let's see how this goes. So there we are. Can you see that? I think I'm just going to put some in here. Can you see? I might even move this one around with the baby wipe a little.
So this is kind of like the hint of a wave. Nope, not enough paint. come down into this part down in here. So they're just like a rolling little wave. I think I'm going to add, I think we need another, this is, I got to fix this. I don't know what I want to do with this area here. I'll have to throw a, a mermaid or something in there. But I actually want to get some more color in here. So let's see. Let's see if we put one of these. Oh, this one right there. So I want to use a darker, maybe a darker blue. Jane's blue is pretty dark. Let's see if I put it, mix that in it just a tad. What I'm going to do is mix it in with this one and see what we get. Just want just a tad. Oh my gosh, Patty, that's freezing. A polar bear plunge. Oh my gosh. I should roll this up so like Barb does so you don't get those you don't get those circles like I need more paint Do patty. <laughs> yeah, that's freezing cold. I don't know if I would do that. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. And you see how Barb says too, I should have done this before. The square part. You get those lines in there but what she does is she folds hers like this she folds it so that you don't get those those lines in there like that there oh i love this stencil <laughs> i love that All right, so i think we're gonna have to put a few more of these on there i'm gonna put one down here I'll leave a little bit more paint. Do you say the stencil you're using is one from Joggles? Yeah, this one here is from Joggles. It reminds me of the octopus legs. I'm going to add just a tag. You, don't, you don't need much of this blue, that's for sure. They I'll let your brother go twice is right. Oh my gosh, that would be that would be bad. I don't think I could handle that. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing the bottom one now. Some of my stuff so you can see. So that's this one here. Ah, I did it again. I wanted to roll this up. Darn it. 
I gotta put more paint. <laughs> You like that stencil? Yeah, it's one of my favorites for sea theme like. Yep, I don't know if it has a name. All right, so bend the sponge. <laughs> bend it. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I love that one. This one is called, I don't know if it has a name on it. Let's see. Nope, just has a number. 10-33738. And of course we're going to need one more. Ugh, my hands are like, ugh. <laughs> oh, my hands. I'm going to put a tiny one up in here. I have to use the paint that's on here. There we go. So now we have that. And I still want, I want to actually use use either this big one, let me see if I have a little one. Oh my gosh. Crazy. All right, I think I'm going to spray some of this. I have some, and I don't know if this is permanent or not. Do you know if Tattered um, Angels is permanent? Oh, that's, uh, thank you, Travis. It says it's called Spirals. This one's called Spirals. Hi, Ella. I think I'm going to use, I might use this for if I know what my bigger one is. I think I'm going to use some of this down here. We'll see what happens. Hi, Margaret. Welcome. So is it permanent? We'll find out. <laughs> Kind of using it as seaweed. Let's let it sit there for a minute. No, it is not permanent. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> oh, it's got pretty shimmer though, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to heat gun. I'm going to dry that. And then we're going to put some mermaids on here. Heat gun.
All right, that's done. I think I want some more, something else in the middle here. I'm looking for my bigger one. Hold on. I just don't know where I put it. it stick in here. I showed it to you guys. Where is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, there it is. So we could put either put more bubbles, or maybe we put this one. So it's kind of like wavy. We'll do this one. Oh, I'm missing all the chat. I'm spending time streaming and chatting and relaxing. <laughs> right, so we're going to do this, but what shall we put it on? Something a little bit maybe metallic. Let's see what do I have. This one is Blue Harbor. This is a little bit darker. kind of metallic e in the blue. Let's see how this is. Well, it's like a blue purple kind of. What is purple? You like this one? It's like water. Yep. We'll do that and we'll do a little I will do a little of this. This is Bahama Blue. We'll mix the two. Ooh, that's way too much. Oh no. Let's see if I can put some of that back. Ooh, that was too much. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my dauber, I think. So let's put some of this on. I might have to wipe some of this back. We'll see. too bad. So once we put the mermaid on there, it should be good. Let's see what else we have. side. Thanks, Patty. We have to get the background before we get to the mermaids. <laughs> Do a little bit on this side. There, now we have our water all the way across. <laughs> all right, so we're done with that. So I'm going to dry this and then we're going to put our mermaids on. So let me stick this in the water. I'm debating whether I want, because I'm going to put the mermaid here in the middle. What happened there? But I'm thinking I want some of these mermaid. Oh, we'll stamp the mermaid tails. That's what we'll do. We'll stamp it. 
All right, so let me dry this, and then we'll get out the stamps. Heat gun. <laughs> You're welcome, Marilyn. All right, so that's pretty dry. So we're done with our stencils. Pretty sure we might do some bubble ones at the end. So let me get all of this out of the way. And we need. I'm thinking I'm. I don't know. I might use just her so for this um, time of drawing and all that. I uh, might have to use, let's see, I think I'm going to have to use the bigger one. Alright, so let's see. I think I'm going to have to use this stencil first for the mermaid. And then I want to use this other one. I think we'll put this other one down over there. Thanks, Joan. Right, so let's see. This one's a little big for her. I think that one will do. All right, so I want to um, get like a green metallic maybe. Oh, let's see what do I have. This one is citron green. And let's see. Wow, this one's pretty here. This one is aquamarine metallic. We'll use that one. So I'm going to cut her out. I could draw it, but for the um, time's sake, you know, I want to um, just get her down because it's already like 8.30 almost. Plus, I like her face too. She's kind of cute. I did this one while I was, um, I think I was either on the plane or in Phoenix, I forget. We're going to have to adjust her body anyway, so... Yeah, she has a pretty face, doesn't she? So I want to see, because I'm going to have to make her waist just a little bit wider. So I think we're going to, let's see how many mermaids we're going to put on here. We're going to do this, and then I want a stamp. Hopefully I can use a stamp for this one. I want to put some seaweed and have, like, the mermaids coming out of there. So, all right, so let's do this one first. I'm wondering if I should, maybe this one will be better. I'm going to go with this one. And then we can fix her waist. So her waist needs, let me cut this off. I need a pencil. I'm actually going to put her waist here. So she's going to have to come in like this. More like that. Oh, 
Hopefully this arm is long enough. <laughs> Feed her some chocolate. <laughs> All right. So which one did we say we were doing? This one, right? I think I'll put her right there. All right. So we're going to do that. So I need some more pink. So this is a metallic green. That's kind of like metallic y. All right, so let me try that again. I hope I have another sponge. Oh, I don't. Have another sponge? Oh, I'm going to have to use this one. I'm going to have to use this. All right, so I'm going to leave her there. We're going to do this. I'm going to actually mix the two. Might have to go in a little darker, but we'll see. So kind of light for you guys to see but I could see her pretty good and we'll outline her and add some stickles and stuff but she looked pretty good can you see that I if you can see there it is very metallic like <laughs> all right so we're gonna lay her here like that oh let's see that's a matte medium. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> what happened? I missed it. Right, so got some matte medium down for her first do that heat She is. Isn't she cute? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to bring her arm down just a little bit more. I'm actually going to matte medium the whole thing. I'm just putting matte medium all over the whole page. I have to come back and do some more of that. All 
All right. She's cute, right? <laughs> All right. So now I'm not going to do the one that Eileen sent me. So she's kind of looking at her like she's a little crazy. <laughs> All right. Let me put this on there. So what I'm going to do is, let's see what we have here. I'm actually going to use, which one does she have? I'm actually going to use this one. And on this one I'm going to do a little bit darker just so that we could see it. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to use a drop of this. Uh, drop. There we go. Well, I should tell you the colors. This one is holiday green. So I'm going to mix that up here. I'm going to stick that one in here. More of that darker green just at the edges here. So there you can see that one. That one's a little bit darker, so you can see that one much better. Alright, so I'm gonna dry that heat gun. This is a new to me mercy. <laughs> Heat gun. Hi, J Love. And then I have to cut her waist just a little bit. So I'm going to cut her around. I'm going to need this. Oops. <laughs> Even a little smaller. There we go. <laughs> what happened? Okay, Patty. Ah, oh, what do I do with that? There it is. Oh, for the heat gun. <laughs> it's got some wild hair, this one. There we go. And then we have our arms here somewhere. Uh, where are her arms? Oh, I lost her arms. Oh, there's one. There's one. Let's find the other one. There we go. Thanks, Q. 
Nokia. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick this one underneath. I think we need to stick that one underneath. And stick this one under. And then we'll stick this one under. Oh, I think they look cute. <laughs> Medusa, and she does look like she has a Medusa sneak hair. <laughs> we'll have to fix her. All right. So that takes care of those. Now, what do I do with my top? You see my top anywhere? Oh, way too much stuff on my desk. I would want to eat this. Do you see it? <laughs> I don't see my top. Uh, duh, right in front of me. <laughs> Thanks, Aileen. <laughs> she looks cool. I like her. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to do some stamping now. And I want to do it, let's see. I'm going to do some seaweed first. And then we're going to put some of these little tails coming out of the seaweed. So let's do that first. So let's see, what do I have left here? You like the wild hair? <laughs> and then I want to put this somewhere. I think maybe... Maybe we'll put this down there in the end. Well, I think we'll stick that there. So I don't want to cover that too much or else I could put it up here. No, I think I'm going to stick it down here. So we'll stick that there. I want to use some of Seth's uh, new stamps. So let's see what do we have. I kind of like this, but maybe I can manipulate this one to look like Orla. Want to see how well these will bend. Like I like this one. Looks like kind of if I take the paper off, you could bend it a little bit better. So I should be able to hopefully bend these around. I was hoping I could find my ink, my stays on ink, and I don't have it, so I'm just gonna have to go with distress. I just won't be able to put too much more on top of here. Because it won't blend. All right, so let's see what this looks like. So this one is pine needles. So let me see if I can move this up so you can see. So there you can see it's kind of like kind of like a seaweed. Almost good, looks good too for octopus legs. I kind of like it for that. You love mermaids? Oh, that's good. Me too. I do too. So I'm trying to bend this. And when you take the paper off, you can bend it. So see how nice that looks? It's like perfect. I'm going to do a little bit here. And then a little on this side. So it kind of looks like seaweed. Can you see that? I really like it for octopus legs. I'm going to have to try that for that. So let's see what else we got here. Let's try this one. So this set of his is called, let me see what it has, he has a name for this one. Uh, this one's called Spotlights. This one here is Spotlights. So we're going to try this one next. Let 
And again, I'm going to go with the green. I might try to paint this one on. Let's see. Let's see if we could do that. I'll just have to wipe it off really quick. So I'm actually putting paint on this one. Because anytime you use paint, you know, you have to wipe it off right away. Or well, you'll ruin your stamps. All right, so let's do this. Oh, that didn't come off at all. Oh, that didn't work. Can I get a wipey? Yeah, he has nice stamps. These are his new ones, and then I'm waiting for his dyes. His dyes are really nice. He did some more drip da, drip dra, drip <laughs> kind of dyes. They're really nice. All right, so that didn't work. So we're gonna have to just try um, try this again. Where's my little book? My little thing. <clears throat> I really like it for <clears throat> like seaweed. One more on this side. That reminds you of kelp. Yeah, it's true. I like this one too. This one is his is called Borderlines. I like this one here. I'm going to put some of that on there. All right, so let's do this on this side. I don't want to go too high on this side because I want to keep my saying on there. So we're just going to go down a little. this one around there I can't see because I have so much stuff let's see if I can move this there you go and then I'll have to outline that so you can see that a little bit better So that's that stamp. And I just want to add a little bit more. See if we could get a little bit darker. I wish I could have found my green. All right, let's try this one. So this one is this one is border lines. Let's see if I have any ink that I can find. Well, let's try this one. This is a Versamark called Atlantic so we'll try this one some of that blue in there thanks Margaret <laughs> right so I'm going to actually use this one here this will show up this might be too late let's see how it goes yep it's too late I have to get with it something a little bit darker so let's see what do I have um, 
really need something like navy blue. I wonder if this metallic would look, how this would look. I don't even know if it works. Let's see. Let's try this. Some gold metallic. If it's good enough. Oh yeah, you can see that. Might be hard for you guys to see, but I could see it. It's nice. So I want to curve this. Or do I want to curve it like this? I'll bring it up closer so you can see. Oh, that looks nice. There. What did I say this one was called? This one was called Borderlines. So let's see if you can see that. You see it there? Looks more yellow, but it's actually gold metallic like. So let's do some of that on the other side. Let's stick some in between here. How's Gabby like? She likes her new apartment. She had trouble with the washer and dryer, but they came and fixed that. So, yeah, she really likes it. She's enjoying it. She had her fur friend over for the first time, and they cooked a, a big meal. And <laughs> um, she wanted to make some cookies, but um, she didn't have a cookie pan. <laughs> so I have to get one of my things on my list to get her is a a cough, uh, cookie pan. Uh, let's see. I I think I'm just going to do it just on those two. Maybe down in here. A little. Yeah, she really likes it. She likes her new job. She likes living there. So hopefully she, uh, she'll be doing some traveling, I think. In a couple weeks, so that'll be exciting, but worrying some. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So we got some gold in there. Now I want to do stamp the mermaid tails because I want them like swimming throughout everything. All right, so let me put this back. So that's looking pretty good. Now what shall we stamp this? Let's see. What did I do with my mermaid stamps? Hold on. <laughs> that. I'm going to have to put some bubbles in here. Oh wait, I have them. Um, let me grab this bag. I wish I had better ink. I thought this would be cool too for um, bubbles. I have this. I want to put some starfish in there. Alright, so let's see. <coughs> Who's cute? <laughs> the gold paste would look cool. Oh, yeah, the gold paste on the tail. Oh, yeah, we'll do some of that. <clears throat> All right. 
maybe I'll even do some gold paste bubbles, so we'll see. All right, I want to put the mermaid tails on first, so let's do that. Oh, the new baby is so cute. Oh, I bet. <laughs> and then I got one of Patty's cards. I love these. It's a, I love this. I want to get this. Are you have to tell me where to get that again. The silver. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, we have these little fish to put on here, too. I forgot about those. What can we do those in? Maybe I'll do them in. Gosh, I wish I had some more. I don't know where all my ink pads are. Let's see what do I have here. I tried to look for them for four when I couldn't find them. Ugh. All right, I gotta take some of this off my hands. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Oh my gosh, ten minutes. I have to just take some of this off. It's just like gross. <laughs> All right, that's good enough for that. All right, so I think we're going to stamp this little one. I'm going to have this one coming like it's coming out. I want to do the fish. And maybe we'll do this one these little ones. One, two, three. Um, let me do this one. I think I'm going to stamp them just in black and then I could color them in with something else. So. <clears throat> oh, you got a Dick Blix? What, what was a millimeter? Because I looked over there and it was like, oh, I don't know what millimeter it is. <clears throat> So let's see. I need some dark blue here. Let's go with oh, mermaid blue. Maybe blueprint. That one ought to be a good one. And maybe chip sapphire. So we'll try those three. Oh, 15 millimeter. Darn, I think I bought an eight or nine millimeter. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this one. This is the blueprint one on this tiny little one. This is so cute. Let me move this off. What did I do at the top of this? Oh, there it is. Oops. I'm actually going to stamp them like they were out of the... Just swimming out. Can you see that? Oh, that one's so cute. I love the little one. And I'm going to put one coming down here. Can you see those? <laughs> it's just a bunch of swimming mermaids having a little party. <laughs> there. That one is cute. I might do my postcards, I think, with those for um, Janet's Swap. All right, so let's do the bigger one. So the bigger one here. I'm actually going to have this one swimming.
This one is called Mermaid Lagoon. So just a little bunch of mermaids swimming around. <laughs> too big for my desk. There we go. Aren't they cute? Needs like, um, maybe I'll put the sea turtle on here too. All right, so we have that. And I want to put the little fish on here. So I don't think I'm going to put that on there. So let's see what we could do for the fish. Fish should be like an orange. I wonder if I can stamp them with this. Oh, that's too watery. I can't use that one. That one's no good. Let's try this one. Okay, well, I have a good dinner. So I'm going to take my sponge, and where's my scissors? I'm going to cut this off. So I'm going to stamp these with this. These little fish, they're so cute. I hope this one works. Ah, can you see them? <laughs> They're cute. This is like little Nemo. You love the mermaid tails? Yeah, they look really good. Once I outline them, too, they'll be a lot better. Oh, as you can see, they look like they're swimming in between. That's a little bit more orange on here. Okay, Joan, oh my gosh, thank you for staying so long. <laughs> yeah, your eyelids, I bet. Oh, these are so cute. And I think I'll put one more set. Three, four, five. Stick some in here. Let me get rid of that. Put that around. Can you see how cute they are? I'll, I'll dress them up, put some like stickles or something on them. Look how cute they are. You see them? <laughs> All right, I need another wipe. All right, let's put some 
the gold paste or I have that pink paste too. I have the green metallic paint. Let's try this one. This is the delicate um, metallic. I'll see if I can put it right over that. See how that works. So if we put this back over, this one, which one is it? This one. And we'll add some of this, see what this looks like. And then I'm going to stop here, and then I think we'll finish this up on Sunday. So let's see if I have another little sponge I can use. So I'm going to take this green. Let's see what this looks like. trying to line it up. Maybe we'll just put it on there. See what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. You see that? I messed up there a little bit, but that's pretty. I love that. And that one was like a green. It looks kind of gold to you, but it's like an olive green. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, the tentacles are awesome. So, so I think we'll stop here, and then we'll um, we'll finish this up on Sunday night. So if you guys are headed over to Paula's, I'll be there in a little while. Thank you, Tori. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out. And then um, I'm just going to say I'm probably going to go a little earlier than 7. Probably, I'll say probably more like 6. So thanks, Dorothy. Thanks. Yeah, I love the little fish. Those stamps are so cute, Patty. All right, so have a good weekend. And if you're watching the Super Bowl, have a good time. And then... Oh, you're welcome, Patty. I love the stamps. So oh, they're so cute, especially the fish. I like the fish a lot. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, everyone. All right, so we'll see you over at Paula's, and then I will see you on Sunday night. So, bye. <laughs> Are you welcome, Holly? Bye. <laughs>